There you go. Nice. Well, this is what it's all about right here. Right. We're adrift. This is a three hour tour, right? That's right. <laughs> Drifting out to open ocean. The adventure's really beginning now. Success. And we're level. Nice. High speed diesel. That's what our truck takes. Extra fast diesel. Layla's decided that Miss Christine is her future. Then y'all can come. Then y'all can come. All right, we're wrapping up our time here at the outpost, uh, but it's just a soft goodbye. We're coming yes. right back here in a couple of weeks. Um, we're heading down to the Keys. My mom and Tom just left, and we're gonna be able to meet them down in the Keys as well, which is gonna be really fun. And we have not been down to the Keys in a while. It's been almost four years since we've actually had our RV down there, so it's gonna be really nice to have our home on the islands again. So the kids are saying their goodbyes, um, short goodbyes. Yes, we're And then back. we're wrapping up some projects, and then we're out of here. We're gonna hit the road. Babe, way off, you're all the way off the tree now. Tons of room. Tons of room. There you go. Nice. See you later, boys. See you later. Bye, Janie. We'll be back. All right, are we ready? Ready, come on, come on. All right, we're on our ways down to the Keys. This is like one of our favorite drives. Because so you go awesome. over all the different bridges and it's just like this super green, blue water. Lily's always like, oh, look at the water. Water. <laughs> she loves the water. And it feels like you're driving through the Bahamas. Oh, it's amazing. Like, it's yeah. just so cool. The outpost isn't that far. Um, it's basically the entrance to the Keys. That's is, right. It, this is really exciting to be back down and like towing the RV back down. We are heading down to Key West. We're meeting my mom and my stepdad down there and we're just excited to have some time in the sun. Oh, we haven't been on the beach in a long it's, time. It's been a long time. And this is the first time staying with the RV down in Key West. Yes. So before when we had the RV, we stayed at Big Pine Key. Which is, uh, which beautiful. is like, you know, maybe two thirds of the way down. So yep. it'd be interesting to stay all the way down there. So we're actually gonna stay on the Naval base. One of our crew members that was at our volunteer event is actually stationed down there. Yeah. So he's got a boat. Um, we're hoping weather, to get out as long as the weather, the weather holds. If weather cooperates, then we're gonna take a trip. Otherwise, you know, we don't know.
awesome because it had that um, rooftop uh, pool. Oh my gosh, watching the sunset while hanging out in the pool on the roof yeah. was so cool. Okay, I always like to say that driving through the Keys is like driving through the Bahamas or to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. It's just such an adventure. I love it. Like the whole time you got this turquoise water. It's just beautiful. It's insane. And it's so fun to like keep going over the different islands and the Keys. Yeah. So people actually ask all the time like why they're called Keys and not islands. And the Florida Keys were named after Ponce de Leon who charted them in um, the early 1500s. And he called them the Spanish word Cayo, which means small island. And so it was pronounced Key at the time. So a key is an island. A key is a small island. But that's so much fun to like cross over all these different islands and there's different things on each one. There's 800 islands spanning 180 miles. Isn't that crazy? And what's funny is there's no actual sand here. These are like rocky islands. So all of the sand is actually shipped in from the Caribbean because it's such a rocky terrain. The whole lower section of, of Florida is all like compacted coral and seashells and stuff. All of the, the forts that you see down here in Florida are all cut blocks it's from the so ground. It's so crazy. There's not really any soil below. It's like a limestone, yeah. right? And I didn't really realize that until actually being at the outpost. That's right. And watching Bob having to cut, like literally cut blocks out of the ground. Massive to cubes. Make pits. So crazy. That's how he's made all the gator pits on the property, which is really awesome. So look closely at any of the, the forts that are built around here. You'll, you'll see seashells and who, who knows, who what, knows else. what else that have co that's come from the ground. So but that's another reason why it feels like you're in the Caribbean because yeah. it's actually sand from the Caribbean that was shipped down here. That's so funny. Good. You see that thing flashing in there? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just checking all of them out. Yep. Nice. Um, this breeze oh, it's is ridiculous. So yeah, that was one thing that we were a little bit worried about was whether or not, without hookups here, whether we're going to make it in Key West. And it's if it's like this, this is which stunning. is this is what the weather looks like it's going to be, it should be fine. Yeah, I think we'll be good. Success. And we're level. All right, so not only is this our first time in Key West, this is gonna be our first time on the water yes. in Key West. So one of our uh, crew members, Craig. He invited us down here to go out on his boat and we're gonna actually like take a sunset cruise all the way around Key West. So I'm so excited. I'm really excited um, because the Keys are all about the water and that's what we're trying to do right now. Let's go get on the water. Let's get on the water. Girls, you ready? We yes. Ready, ready to get on the water? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. So we have only been in Key West for just a couple days, but we have already been able to do quite a bit. My mom and new stepdad came down to see us at the Everglades Outpost, and then we were meeting them down here in Key West, which has been so much fun. Of course, we needed to take them on a donuts and coffee and sunrise morning. What's cool about that is that's kind of the start of our donuts and sunrise. I know. Because Key West was one of our very first once. So we took them back to the same exact beach, Smathers Beach, which by the way is such an awesome place to go if you're in Key West and you want to catch a sunrise. Not real sand, like we mentioned earlier. <laughs> it's real it's, sand. It is shipped in every other year, is what I read. What did you look up? How much does it cost every two years or it's something? It's almost a million dollars. That's crazy. 888, but 
who knows? I don't even know what the Unreal. date was real for that. But so we of course took them to the southernmost point, which is just a quintessential stop that you have to make. Get the photo of southernmost point of the United States, and then we walked along Duval Street, got to see some of the shops, and had breakfast at a really cute cafe, Banana Cafe. It was just a really, really it was a lot fun, of fun, fun day. But I think my favorite time was at Hogfish. This is like a oh, hole in the wall. My gosh, restaurant that you need to go to. You're gonna drive there and you'll be like, no. Nope, Where did Finding Our Someday send us? I can't keep going because I'll probably <laughs> die. But no, it's amazing. After you get done eating, you can go walk the marina. I've okay. walked a lot of marinas. That is And it's true. like a, it's a different marina and it's really <sighs> inspiring. If what started this dream was like, someday we'll be on a catamaran. I don't know that that's gonna happen. That's what we want to happen. That's our goal. Um, but but plans change right that's now. That's true. You need to adapt. That was the thing that got us going. That's right. So just because you didn't do what you said you were gonna do to begin with, don't discount the importance of it because exactly. that, is, that is what catapulted you exactly. to make a move. And that's what catapulted us to make a move. And this Maybe is where we are four years later, just getting would, on a boat in the Keys. We would never, ever know. So sitting there at dinner at Hogfish, uh, we were looking across and there were two boats and they had those prop wash tubes that came out the back. Oh, so that was gosh. just for treasure hunting. And I just think it's awesome because one of our favorite movies is Into the Blue. Just because, for one, it's Paul Walker and he's amazing. Jessica Alba <laughs> and Finding Treasure. Oh my gosh. What more can you ask for? What, <laughs> what more can you ask for? I mean, gold? Come on. Yes, gold? Treasures of Gold. We love all those movies. Fool's Gold, Six Days, Seven Nights, yeah, all of those. All those, are so all those movies are so much fun just because we love the ocean. We love the idea of adventure and island life, which is why we're really loving being in Key West right oh now. My gosh, so yeah. seeing those boats across was just like so exciting and so fun. As much as I think you like the inside of our truck, let's get on the water. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's, there's blue Eat water some diversity. <laughs> Oh man, All right. look at this marina. All right, we're right out here, love. Do you tell us what we're doing yet? What oh, are we doing? What you do? I uh, see, we, I we already <laughs> talked about it. It's his bald head protector. Yeah, I need one of those, yeah, actually. Yeah, you do. I need, do I you have got a, a little bit more no. hair oh, than I do if you let it grow. <laughs> if I let it grow, yeah. <laughs> what is but, your favorite part of boating around here? As a local, Like, what's your favorite part to see? You guys go out to the reef. You said it's about five miles out to be able yeah, to Yeah, five, mile, five to seven miles out is the reef. Okay. Awesome. And the coral reefs, 30, 40 feet of water. So that's one of your favorite things to do? Yes. Go out to that, that reef? Yeah, the water, you can, I mean, fishing out in 50 feet of water, you can literally see the fish come up, uh, take your bait in 50 feet of water. Uh, that's so awesome. It's like, oh, here he comes, here he comes. Oh. Look at this. So nice. She's old, but she's beautiful. Awesome. What the heck do you want? We got nothing for you. Just leave it. All right, Navy man. We've got the Navy man and the Coast Guard man. Well, I don't know. It's been 20 years, so. <laughs> He's got a leg up on you? Oh, yeah. You're current. You want to push the bow off? Or? So, like I said, Craig's in the Coast Guard, and he has one more year left to retire. He's been serving our country for a very long time, and it's very well deserved. So, we're excited to be able to be down here with him in his last year. That was, that was a nurse shark right over there. Oh, oh yeah? So you can go pretty big. Up over this uh, bait station, there are probably five or six nurse sharks. We've counted up to like 11 or 12 there at once. Wow. Oh my God. This is the, uh, the first naval air station for the uh, U.S. and for the Navy. See the ramp there is for the uh, seaplane hangar back in the day. No way. That's crazy. No way. That's a big boat. <laughs> yeah, that's a big boat. Kind of just busted up. Underneath the bridge, you'll see little like snowflake looking things. That's the number of cocaine busts that the cutters got in his oh, lifetime. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Crazy. That's crazy. And there's off to the side about a foot, there's a little marijuana leaf one. A lot of action. A lot of action here. 
lots going on. Okay, so what's this marina again? This is uh, AB Marina, the main marina in Cuba. And that's a ship right over there, the Mohawk. <laughs> Big Mo. Big Mo. That looks like Big Mo right there. Look at, check this out. Look. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> One, day. Dead. One day. I will own that boat. You're gonna have your dreams. Wow. Is that like a race? A race boat? He's getting in trouble because he didn't have his diver flag down. <laughs> Layla's decided that Miss Christine is her future. That's, that's what she's looking for. Then y'all can come. Then y'all can come. <laughs> she says, then y'all can come visit us. <laughs> when I see a big giant boat, all I can think about is that, that scene from the Gold. It's been in front of us this whole time. Feeling it? Feeling it. Well, she's feeling it. Oh, you got your Key West shirt on and everything. I know. You're right? really I'm feeling it. I'm a tourist. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Bow thruster engaged. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, bow thruster. That's a sweet job. High speed diesel. That's what our truck takes. That's what our truck takes. Extra fast diesel. Extra fast <laughs> diesel. <laughs> The sunset celebration happens every night in Key West and we were here two years ago with Nathan and Marissa experiencing it for the first time. So much fun to like watch the sunset with about a thousand of your best friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can see all the people right here. It's because of this right here. You guys ready? You ready to go? Here. <laughs> what? This is all we have our Look at all these people. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Look at the sailboats coming in. and there's like shops and vendors and like street performers. It's a really fun place to come at night. It is. So the buoys are actually here because this is where cruise ships will come and dock. So there's one here, one here, and then one that's on the Navy dock farther down. It's amazing to go to Mallory Square and like watch the sunset, but it's a whole... So that's Mallory Square over there. Yeah, it's a whole new deal to like be out on the water and out on the boat and be able to see it out here. I love it. So that is the Dry Tortugas. 100 miles that way. Is it like 70? I don't know how many percent. Something like that. I don't know. This is amazing. Thank you, Craig. This is just amazing to be out on the water here um, instead of sitting on the pier. Say something smart, girls. Something smart. Always have to be happy where you are, Dad. Okay. Okay. Well done. There you go. Unexpected. Well done. Unexpected wisdom. <laughs> So we got probably five more minutes and the, the sun's gonna come down. Wait for the hiss. Look at that. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Oh my well this is what it's all about right here. Let's see if I can get a time lapse real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Watching sunsets go down in the ocean is Yeah. Pretty amazing. It's pretty awesome. All right. Let's see how this time lasts. Is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not as bad. Uh, as... No, it's bad. <laughs> you can still see it though. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
Alright, so we're gonna head back to the marina, which is right on base where we are, where we're camped, and we're gonna have some. We got Wagyu burgers, we got so burgers. we're gonna make some burgers. My passenger set sail that day for a country hour tour. Okay, so the mechanics had a different idea. We had a beautiful sunset, uh, but the motor runs perfectly, but when you put it in the gear, it just dies. So we're we're adrift. This is a three hour tour, right? That's right. <laughs> We're drifting out to open ocean. The adventure's really beginning now. So yeah, we'll check back. Maybe uh, maybe this is the last you'll see of Finding Our Someday. They won't see this. They won't see this. They will when they find this. When they find it. Look at how beautiful this is though. Oh, All right, what is this, day? Day 500? Still adrift? to signal some planes flying overhead but it didn't work. <laughs> you found us! Are <laughs> um, you going to take me? Yeah. Yes. It's pretty narrow in there so I'm not going to hip up to you guys. I'll just tie a bridle off and I'll show you in okay. that way. Here's Mallory Square again and then here's our rescue boat. Layla, good adventure. <laughs> so there's Mallory Square, day 685, <laughs> and we're back at shore. Hello. All right, there's a narrow bridge coming up. Hopefully, we don't bump into the side. Let me change cameras. Oh yeah, the phone does a little bit better. Oh gosh, we are definitely aiming. Pull us over! Oh, there's such a current coming through here. Oh my word. Oh gosh. Jeez. Man. I know she was nervous. All right, one mile down. Three more to go. If I have to dive in, it's only their sharks to deal with. <laughs> Look how tight this is. Yeah, this is snug. It's hard enough to do with your own boat. Let alone towing another one. Okay, if you can get me to the, the dock in between the boat ramps, it would be greatly appreciated. Jeez, um. Is that on film? Yep. <laughs> <Yes>. Got it. <laughs> At least it's on film. <laughs> Trying to go down. Can you want to hook these uh these lines? These ones? Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Thanks, Corey. For... <laughs> Did you get me going down? I think so. It was really dark. Yeah. I'm just gonna pull up and we have to do a little bit of paperwork. Yep. Lily, in the circle, also that where that black container is at. There's my truck keys in there. Thank you. I 
Yep. Work, baby. Careful, careful, careful. Don't, careful, don't push too hard because it's going to be hard to hold. You're going to go. <laughs> I caught it. Goodness. <laughs> If I had these on, I wouldn't have slipped. Craig, that was an official adventure. That was an official adventure. First time I ever had to get towed back. Hey, <laughs> he had, what'd you say? You had Towboat USA? You had Towboat US. That hey, was that awesome. Paid for itself. That's right. That's $169 to spend. Because <laughs> what was the belt? Was it like $514? Oh, wow. 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 She did amazing. Yeah, she, she was awesome. He's it's all worried that we're like never gonna come back on a boat with. Him. Yeah, you kidding? This is awesome. <laughs> the boat was fine. Like the, yeah. the the motor's like purring like a kitten, but whatever it was putting it into the gear, it, it bogged it. it down and it killed it. You have to let me know what happened to it. Yeah. Listen, adventures like this, you always learn something. Yeah. It's a good lesson in patience. It's a good lesson in just going with the flow. It's like RV life. It's a new lesson I learn every single time. <laughs> if it's wet. There's a good chance it's slippery. <laughs> this is awesome, Craig. Thank you for Thank everything you so this much. weekend. It was amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Get Til better. Until next time. Get better, <laughs> so join us here each week, my friends. You're sure to get a smile here on Gilligan's Island.